so yeah so right. we just we yeah. just had a chat we were just sort of planning what we're going to do today so you you've got a pupil um that you're going to be teaching you're on a pink license and you've got mm -hmm. a pupil coming up and you're going to be teaching them to reverse to turn the car around by reversing into a side road yeah or it could just as well be if they wanted to reverse into their driveway into a narrow opening, couldn't it? Yeah. Sort of same skill, isn't it? So that's something you want to um, teach your learner as part of the mm -hmm. national standards and the, the syllabus of learning to drive. And yeah, we're going to cover it. And then we stood, we talked about the, mm -hmm. how are we going to do that. I said, well, do you want me to do one, then you do one, or vice versa, mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. And you've said that you'd like to teach me first give me a briefing and instruct me to do it and we're, we're at the location we've got a junction in front of us to do that mm -hmm. and and then if needs be after it i could do one as a demonstration so you could compare mm -hmm. a contrast yeah. mm -hmm. the two but you you'd, you definitely want me to do your one first. yes i think so yeah that'd be good yeah, yeah. yes good with mm -hmm. me yeah. so um mm -hmm. What I'm just going to do, uh, no, I was going to say I'm going to drive up a bit closer to the junction to make sure there's not a parked car around oh, of there. Of course, yeah. But I, there is a low wall, there isn't anything. No, good, there. okay. Because we'd want to make sure that's a viable one. If yeah. not, we'd go mm -hmm. find somewhere else, but hopefully it'll stay that way yeah. while we're mm -hmm. doing the briefing and that. Good. Okay, so um, have you got all your visual aids and things you need? I haven't bought my VTS with me, no, oh, I no, haven't actually, no, which must be very organised of you. No problem, because you've just come out of your car into mine. They look the same, because you've got the same car, so you must be thinking, this is my car, <laughs> where's my stuff? <laughs> so, I'll go a bit confusing, no, sure, stuff. yeah, okay, Saying thanks. that, because yours is the four-door model, well, of and course, mine you've isn't. only got three, you? So, yes, we should have had this conversation earlier, actually, because no in your car, yeah. yeah, when especially when you're sat here doing it, yeah, it's gonna look a little bit different. Different reference like, points, slightly, yeah. Of course, don't you have a little back court quarter line? There is, that's right. Yeah. I haven't. No, of course you so, haven't. Um, yeah. So, right. Yeah, it's a shame. Mm. We could have, should have gone in your car. Yeah. Oh well, we're here now. No worries. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> See, bit of bad planning. We'll work it anyway. No worries. No, we'll work. And yeah. let you know the old plates are on, so I'll be playing the role of a learner. Yep, no worries. And uh, should we say that I, I've just driven here, and I've so I've already done my cockpit drillings. Yep. Mm -hmm. All of that. So, and before we go into it, what, what do you think of the road location? Because I chose this, you mm. asked me for help where I would go yeah. to do this if mm. someone was doing it for the first sure. time. What do you think? I think it's nice and quiet I mean, for the first attempt, it's ideal, isn't it? That's Definitely. it. And if you look at the, it looks really good. Look at the, the road we're going into, what, what characteristics would you say that we've got? It, it, from here, it looks as if there's going to be plenty of visibility as we reverse back into it. Yeah, low walls on both sides. Yes, yeah. No big hedges, so you're no. right, because we already made the comment, I can yeah, see that yeah. there's no mm. park car. There's a few shrubs, but we can see, so that's good. What else would you say characteristic about this junction? So it's quiet, it's got low walls. Is there a centre white line in the middle of the road? Doesn't look like there is, although it's hard to see from here. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Can you see double giveaway lines going? Yes, across? definitely. Yes. So there isn't. No. Okay. Right. I see. So, yeah. so there, and is yeah. it totally flat or is it sloping? It, from here, it looks like it's flat. Looks yeah, like so it's it does slope. Does down. it? Oh, okay. Sure. So there's a potential oh, fact, here. No, if I, if I drop the clutch yeah. and go around there, we might go around a bit quick. Yes. Okay. Or if I've got a high bite. Yes. We can go in quick. Which, that will roll. The yeah. car will roll away down. Right. Um, if you look, like, look at the street level to the bungalows down there, it is kind of dropping there. So it is, yeah. It is, yes. It is, you know, so yeah. that's my knowledge no, of see this that. junction. I've just yeah. brought you here. Yeah. But that this is, you know, the characteristics of this is mm. narrow, it is open, it's quiet. That's why we're here, because we, yeah. we did say we don't want to inconvenience 
people unnecessarily. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's yeah, it's just good to know the features of what you're dealing with, so you're, you, that'll help your level of yeah. instruction. Yeah, good. And be aware of the, what the car might do. Mm -hmm. yeah, if it's down, it'll roll forwards, won't it? Yes. Roll back yeah, down. Sure. Yeah, sure. So, uh, Okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, so that's um, that's the location, and we we'll, yeah we'll have a go if you're happy. Yes, yeah, so. definitely, no problem. At so all. you're going to give me a briefing and a talk through. Sure, yeah, okay. Great. Where's your mark pen? Is that it? There is it. Cheers, thanks. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Howard. So as you know, the purpose of us coming here today is uh, to work on reversing around a corner. Now I know that we've already practiced reversing backwards in a straight line and last week we did pulling over uh, pulling up on the right and reversing back two car oh, lengths yeah. which you did really well yeah it was you all did right. really well uh, gauging the side of the vehicle versus the curb and keeping it all nice and straight yeah so we're just building on that today and we're going to be uh, reversing around in a minute in fact let's just have a look on here let's just have a look what we what we're looking at i'm going to attempt to to be artistic now, it's either going to go really well or... <laughs> so I'm, for the benefit of the video, I'm just recreating the junction. There is a pre-done picture of Oh, there. is there? Oh, okay. Oh. It's the same one you've got, yeah? Yes, it is, yeah. yeah there okay. is a picture if you want to use oh, that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. use that. Use that now, because it's so good. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, so... What we're going to be doing in a minute is, uh, we're currently parked up here, aren't we? We're going to be pulling up just past the junction. Now as we drive past the junction, we'll drive past nice and slow, and we'll have a quick look down there to make sure there's no obstructions, what sorts of things might be in our way, do you think? That we just can't quite see that might be a problem. Know, is it a no entry? It's not a no entry. Okay. I guess. Oh, I just thought it was something that we could think of uh, that could perhaps be a problem is if when we drove past we could see a bin lorry coming down the road. Oh, right. Then perhaps oh, I see. We, we wouldn't okay. want to commit to reversing in because it would hold the bin lorry up. Then. How oh, are we so, reversing in now? Are we. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah, okay. sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. that's it. What we're going to do yeah. is we're going to drive past, just have a quick look down it to, yeah. to check for any potential obstructions, and then we're going to pull up just past the junction on the left here. First of all. Oh, okay. Right. And then we're going to ultimately be reversing around that corner and ending up with the car nice and straight. Just just inside the junction, a couple oh, okay. of a couple of cars. So lanes reverse, oh, okay. reverse into that road. Yes, yeah. Oh, okay. And I think we discussed one or two of the manoeuvres that we've already done. It's part of the pulling up on the right. I've done. Yeah. What else did you say I've done? I've gone. Um, You've done a straight reverse as well. On the left or the right. On the left, but when you pulled up on the right, you did the revert, the straight reverse. Yeah, on I remember the right doing that well, last week. We did that really well. Oh, I remember. Oh, we did a reverse, straight yeah. reverse on the left. Yeah. Oh, you do remember that actually. Yeah. yeah. That 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 was the the first thing we did just to to make sure that you were comfortable with reversing because oh, yeah. I think it was your first time reversing. You told me so. That was really good. Yeah. No. No. Until last. Well, whenever we did it last week, I hadn't yeah. done any. No, that was the first. Reversing. Yeah. Sure. That was did done. very well. So, yeah. what we obviously need to do is how to get from there, reversing around, to here. Can I ask a question? Please do. Definitely. Why? 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 Good, yeah. Good. I think it's... What am I doing? Why am I doing it? Should, should you want to change direction of the vehicle? Should you want to turn around? Oh, okay. Rather than perhaps oh, okay. drive a further 100, 200 yards up the road and turn around a bit further up if you can safely and easily reverse into a junction to can I just reverse directions. In that, on that on that driveway there just back up on there it's a bit wider isn't it why do you think you couldn't though what what would be the problems is it um, do you think it's courteous to to perhaps other people trying to get out of their driveway 
Or what else might be in your way reversing up on a pavement? Or oh, pedestrians. That's it, maybe oh. children playing or people oh, okay. walking dogs, all sorts of things. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, fair enough. All right, so, so am, I allowed, am I allowed to reverse into a road then? Seems like weird, because that's where cars would merge out of, isn't it? Is that all right you, to do that? You can, you can reverse into a minor road, yeah. but you definitely can't reverse minor to major, if that makes sense. Oh, so I can drive in it and then reverse out? Because probably... I see my dad do that if he wants to turn around. Or sometimes he does a U-turn. When he, he's because maybe when, out, when we go and go see on, my yeah. aunt, yeah, she she likes lives there, and we he goes and does a little he does a, like a little U turn in the junction, and he oh, pulls yeah. up. So he's on the he he always said it's best yeah. to park on the left side rather than the right. Because this uh, may be out out of role now, but I wouldn't class this as a major road, so I should think you probably could reverse it onto is. this. It is a major road. Well, is if it? I drive in there okay. and reverse onto a main road, okay. this is major minor. No matter how quiet, okay, okay. so it would be illegal. So wrong there. Thanks for so, that correction. So I don't understand the no, legality, okay. and I have said that I think okay. that's a no entry. I th I think that's a no entry. Didn't I? I said that? You think that this? Yeah, in roll. Yes. I said, oh, I thought that was a no entry, and that's sort of gone on. Didn't I? I said, oh, I thought that was a no entry. Do you mean you said the any, road on the left is a no yeah, entry? Yeah, you said, uh, uh, can you think of any obstruction? And I looked at that one and I thought, well, it's a, well, it's a it's no entry. I said no entry, didn't I? Why okay. did I say that? I don't know. Because of, of the road markings. Okay, sure. There's no centre yeah. white line. I think, that's right. a, I think you can only come out of that one. I think okay. that's a, you can't go in there because there's no right. white line. It's got to be a one way, isn't it? So is that a legal minute? Do you mean? I do, yeah, sure. This yeah. is where we. Yeah. Your okay. lesson theme should be about turning round. Yes. And because you know, I was, I didn't know, it was mm. not being explained to me okay. what we're doing and right. why we're doing okay. it. Where get, start, you're going straight yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. This is what we're doing, yes. and we've missed. I'm like, why are we okay. doing this? Like, right. what's the point? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, that, that's important. It's yeah. like the beginning. Of course it's like it the, is. the beginning of the story. Like, why are we even doing this? Because yeah. for all I know, it's in the test, which it's not. But no. I'm like, well, it's, what, like, what's the purpose? What, yeah. what are we doing today? What's mm. going on? You know. Okay. So um, so so that's why I'm that's why I'm yeah. asking these questions because mm. I I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. And I don't know. Mm. I'm thinking, well, surely I could just reverse on it. It'd be easy, wouldn't it? It'd be a bit wider. And. Because surely you can't reverse into a road, because that's where cars come out, but it would be better up. See, I'm thinking that's yeah. a better option. Right. Because I don't understand the rules. No. But you do. Of course, yeah. So yeah. That, that's why I'm being, mm -hmm. um, what's the name? A, a kind of a p inquisitive people. Yeah, right? I really sure, want to yeah. know why, how things work, yeah, you know, yeah. like, um, mm. I'm the kind of person that takes things apart to find out how does that work or it's broken or oh, I just take it apart I'm going to find out how to yeah. fix this mm. I want to know this stuff I want to know how it yeah. all works and why <laughs> and you know that's why I'm playing that character yeah. of like you know I want to know what I want to yeah sure know. Oh, it's warm isn't it it is I was just thinking that yeah okay so um yeah. all right so that aside that aside yeah what we're doing all right so you you carry on that we're Going to reverse it, and yeah, so you got me there. You said how we're going to do it, didn't you? so uh, we haven't done that bit yet. Have we? So, okay, um, now out of roll when I do right, it, yeah. yeah, we are out of roll. I'll only get when, a roll when you're ready. When I do it, I drop the obviously, I make sure I'm doing all round observations as I'm reversing, but I drop this right mirror, so my reference point the left one, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the left yeah. mirror. Yeah, I didn't know Thank what you, you mean. <laughs> Just testing. The other left, the other <laughs> yeah. right, or whatever. Yeah. Drop the left mirror. So I've got. So you can see the curb. A constant reference point of the curb. I can see the curb from here without dropping it. Okay, fair enough. When I yeah. do it, yeah. or when I teach it, or when I do it myself, yeah. I leave the mirrors where they are and just follow it. Because I right. can see the curb there. Okay, good. So yeah. I can keep a constant distance. So. Yeah. I, I, no, okay, sure. I, there's yeah. no benefit for me no. to do that. People do do that. Yeah. Some cars, when you put in reverse, drop the mirrors for you, don't they? Yes, no, true. And, um, yeah. True. But yeah, I don't need to. I true. I just could do this with my mm. pupils without dropping the mirror because right. there is the chance yeah. they forget, then, isn't it? 
they drive yeah. off and then they're down, going down the A47 George and the mirror's right. wrong yeah going to come back in after an overtake and don't realise mate your boys sped up and now they're whoa they're close yeah, and they're like, oh I didn't course. see oh, I didn't yeah. see us the tarmac yeah right no of course that is a bit <laughs> so risky, there is a risk isn't yeah. it yeah sure with, with that yeah. approach um so if we can, do, I, my preference would be, my yeah. advice would be to do right. it without doing okay. that because if, what if I forget? It's risky. No, fair enough. Yeah. Um, mm. And do I do I really need to? No, no I don't. No. I, do, I really don't need no. to. No. Okay. And it's not because I'm better or yeah. good <laughs> at this. No. It's that I just don't know. I can see the. I can see it's there. Fair That's enough. It. Yeah. Okay, I can tell. All right, mate. I'm really close to it. Yeah. So I can see. If I couldn't see the curb. Then that's going to be a problem because I'll be like, well, how am I going to do it then? I can't There's see. No reference point. I'm trying that? to stay close yeah. to something mm. that I can't see. How do I? How would I ever yeah. do that? It'd be like asking me to trace a picture with trace about and not letting yeah, me open no, my eyes. Well, how, yeah. how am I going to do that then? I can't. Sure. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to see it, haven't I? So, um, yeah. but I can. There it yeah. is. I now, can see it. where this, where my attempt at instruction might not work, which I guess is why we're here. Is I'm not completely sure how to communicate that reversing manoeuvre to track the vehicle perfectly around that corner. I know how to do it, but I'm just not completely sure well, how to communicate it. Well, let's take things... So, like, you're drawing a yeah. little picture of us reversing around there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what about if we were there? Yeah. How would you come out? What would you do to come out? Because all we're doing is doing that in, in reverse, In reverse, we? we are, of course, yeah, of course. So when you, if you were, if you were teaching a learner yeah. to come out of this junction, yeah. um, can I redraw it? Please just do. To, yeah. to make it more accurate Absolutely, to what yeah. we've got. And so sure, yeah. the curb peels off a bit more like that. Okay. Yeah, so that's more typically your junction. The curb peels off. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. So if you're teaching someone to come out, emerge from this one. Mm, yeah. If I don't steer, I'm going to end up here, anyway. I? Yes. And that's not quite right, is it? No, it's not, no. So what should I do when I get to... You'll be before? positioning to the left. Yeah, and so no. there's got to be a, some point where I need to start steering, don't I? And what is that point? When the do I... Point of turn of the kerb? I see, so at this point, yeah. where the kerb starts to yeah. peel off, mm -hmm. I'm going to start to put some input on my steering wheel so the car ends up... There, yeah. aren't I? Yeah. So I've got a point of turn to deal with. Mm -hmm, yeah. And I'm going to steer, how much am I going to steer? How do you communicate that? That's a really good point. Well, you don't know, do you? And nor no. do I. No, right, no, sure. We don't know. Do you tell your pupils when they emerge how much to steer? Not in terms of 39 degrees or anything like that. No, you don't, don't do you? No. What they do, whether you tell them or not, is you say follow the kerb, yes. and their eyes see the kerb, yes. normally out the front in that corner near the yes. window wipe or yeah. somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if they've got their eyes open, yeah, you know, they've got to do the old give way. But to stay yeah, close yeah. to the kerb and stay in position without going on the wrong, without coming out around here, yeah. mm -hmm. they're going to keep one eye on the kerb, aren't they? Yes. And so if it was really sharp, they'd steer much more. And if it was little bit they'd steer a lot mm, less yeah. wouldn't they yeah so they don't mm. hit the curb or go yeah. too far from it of course yeah so we don't really need to tell them how much to steer because if they can see the curb mm. follow it that's the reference point I, right, yeah. your hand your, what is it your hands follow your eyes yes mm. no they don't yes they do yes they do <laughs> that's right yeah <laughs> yes that's, that's right, right. Yeah, yeah. so then if i've got something to guide myself on i could drive around there and end up there and I'd be like, oh, that was easy yeah. going forwards, wasn't it? Mm. So now I just think about that going backwards. So now we're going to come right. back to a point where that curb starts to go. And if we think that the pivot point of the car is where the back axle is, yeah. that's our point of turn. Right. So it's a bit different. Before it was when the front wheels reach it. Of course, yeah. Now it's the back wheels. Right. So how are we going to judge that? We need a point of turn to know when. Because mm. they might not... Well, they're they probably won't know that because they'll probably go wide and end up coming on the wrong yes. side of the road. Of course. So they need a point of turn. And then, if they can see the curb and they've got something to judge, just like going mm. forwards, and they can see it, if they can't see it, they ain't got a chance. If they no. can't see the curb, mm. they might as well be mm. guess, total guess in that. Yep. So if they can keep a constant 
with the curb, whether they can see it in that mirror at the back or in, in that side mm. bit, I might see it out there. Right, yeah. I ain't gonna see it out of the back because it's down there, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, so then I can follow it round, and then when I'm gonna get here, I will then see out the back window. Yeah. And at the moment, if I look out the back window, well, the curb comes right down the middle of the car where yeah. my the, mm -hmm. where the window wipe comes out. So if I went in a straight line, yeah. depending what you taught your learners when they reverse yeah. in a straight line to keep constant, you know, to keep near the curb, they they see where it is now and just keep it there, don't they? Yes. Keep it on yeah. that point out the sure. back window. Yeah. So then I can keep it on that point mm -hmm. there. So as I'm going around here, it might be my mirror that sees the curb and tracks that around, so I steer enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or it could see it there. Right. Whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I get around and oh now it's moved into the back window. And then when it gets into mm -hmm. the point it's in now, mm -hmm. I could just go I could re use reference points to straighten me up. Yes. And go around right. the corner. I'd see it in that mirror and I'd see it at the back window. So yeah. there's there's a couple mm -hmm. of places throughout this manoeuvre I'd see the curb right. and if I can keep a constant distance from it mm. and I know what that distance should look like in the mirror or wherever then I should be able to track that round shouldn't I? Yes definitely yeah good okay um, and so yeah so th that's the way to think of it like how would you go out forwards well just reverse yeah. it yeah point a turn follow mm. the curb done I've, so I've seen this so it really over complicated with, with right. instructors yeah. before. Like, like, I, in fact, I was one of them. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I, I was guilty of making this overly complicated right. and steer this much, that much. Right. Probably got some video, my old videos. Check them out. Yeah, you go. You'll oh, see right. what I was like back <laughs> in 2011 doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Christ, that's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, um,. So yeah, right. I've evolved, and, and do you know what? Where, what this technique is when I was doing my audit, um, had my audit mm -hmm. inspection test, whatever you call yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So I was doing one of these lessons with with Wendy. It was, and it was here. Funnily, yeah. flashback. We were here. Oh yeah. Was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was that was way way back. That was one of my first audit things, and we had Owen the examiner in the back. So he's watching me yeah. be the. Mm -hmm. I was sat here. Roll, just like we are yeah. today. And I was getting in a right old pickle with how much to steer. And so Wendy was like, well, I don't know. And I'm like, well, I don't know. <laughs> 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 and I got stuck. Yeah. This was my test. So he was just a really good examiner. He said, gee, do you mind? No, no, he, just, he just jumped in. He said, and he did, he literally did that. He said, how is how no, he goes, right. Wendy, how'd you do it going forwards? So that's yeah. really good, really and, helpful. Actually. And he said, Wendy, how much are you going to steer? And she goes, well, I don't know. He goes, oh, don't worry, Wendy, because Howard would know. So he looked, and I went, I don't know. <laughs> and he goes, exactly. He said, nor do I. No one knows. Right. How do we know how much to steer? Sat there, like, looking at it, like, I don't know. <laughs> and he said, well, you just, yeah. you look at something, you follow it, don't you? You just yeah. follow it. Follow it, right. Makes a lot of sense. We're not blindfolding you to no. do this. You've got your eyes open. You can mm, yeah. follow it. See the curb and go with it. That's yeah. how we drive forwards. So of why are we is. making it overly complicated going backwards? Yeah. Right. Mm. And so what we, we did, because we'd just done a botched attempt going in. Yeah. So then I taught her how to drive forwards out. Right. So right, stop there, Wendy. Where's... Where's the curb now? Oh, it's in that corner. That's your point of turn. So at this point, we put some steers and we keep that curb constant on that point. They're going to stop before the giveaway lines, just to make giveaway and all that, have a look. And then we went out and we followed it around and then the curb returned back to its normal yeah. driving position. Mm -hmm. We went, all right, okay, so let's just trace our steps going backwards. Mm -hmm. So now we went backwards and said, so, well, how are we going to work out this point of turn? It's, like, mm -hmm. well, it's there. So, okay, remember yeah. that. That's where the back wheels are. That's right. where we're going to turn. Mm -hmm. And then the front's going to swing out. So we did all that. We went round. Then we, when we got round, the curb reappeared in there and we got it back to where it is now yeah. in a straight mm -hmm. line. And it was like, da da. And we kind of, we did it with his help. Right. And I, um, that was my it. first ever one. And I thought, God, I think the lucky I did. I wouldn't have passed. Right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. So, uh, and then, yeah, so uh, that was really good. I, you know, my exam turned yeah. into a bit of a, Master class, you know, he, 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 he just had literally a very short conversation. Then I went, Ah, so then I tried it, yeah. 
and I think he likes really what he saw. That's really me, good, that is. To, 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 yeah, yeah no, I thought, do you know what? Thanks. That is like Owen Corrigan. Right. Good, yeah. Excellent, okay. Help me out. And Wendy out. And yeah. Wendy now passed, she lives down in near yeah, Bristol yeah, or something. Yeah, good. <laughs> That's years ago. Like I say, about 2011. Yeah, right. Mikey, mm. Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so that's... Kind of, you know, yeah, how... Yeah. Sure, yeah, okay. We're going to do it. So, I, I'm... Yeah, so we're... I, like, how, where are we going back in row? Where do you want to go? Do you want to pick it up and... Or do you want to see my version from I think, the start? I and think then perhaps pick it's it best up? to see... Your version from the start, then if there's time for me to have a go. Well, that, there be, will be time. Yeah, good, that'll be good. Okay, so shall we swap? Yeah. Okay. Because you, I want yeah. you to see this through the learner's eyes. Brilliant, that'd be what ideal, these yeah. ref Because this is what your learner's going to be seeing, yeah. albeit the car's slightly different. Yeah, sure. There's no little back corner no. light. Now, because yeah. when I used to have a Ford Focus, the point of the turn, there was a little back you know, triangle corner. Oh, there. yes, yeah. And mm. it, it, the curb literally just popped into it. Right. Like halfway along it. That no, was a really nice little reference point. It reminded me, have you ever seen Apollo 13? I probably have, some time ago now. The little, but, what do they yeah. call the little capsule? The little shuttle thing. Oh yeah, right, yeah. Like, shaped like a shuttle the, kind of. Was the pod are they? Escape pods? Sounds I don't know, something like that, yeah. <laughs> but to get back to Earth, they had this little window. And they, they, because all their navigation systems went down. It's perhaps a true story. Yeah. And they just kept Earth in the window and steered right. it, <laughs> steered it all the way down, and yeah. landed and all survived. Right. Yeah, all it's right. the one with Tom Hanks in that yeah, film. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. And I, that remi every yeah. time I remember it, yeah. just I was just to yeah. say like, keep yeah. the curb in that yeah. window, and you're gonna mm. follow that round. We'll right. get back. We're gonna get back That's on good. that, That's as well good. as doing. Yeah. And that, that really works. That's and good. so uh, I kind of miss. The corner window. No worries. So I don't know. It might yeah. work on yours. Definitely. Well and and as soon as I can now, I'll be doing a reverse around the corner just just to understand from an instructor's point of view now what it is that I'm looking for. Yeah. Because I get it perfect every time. But why do I? So yeah. No, that's good. So okay. Let's swap. Yep. Oh, my pen's rolling out down, the drain. Got got down the drain. Down the drain. <laughs> Fortunately not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, thanks. I'll let this car come yeah. by. There you go, Russell. You jump in. Don't touch any controls. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Until I say so, you little bugger. <laughs> So, um, notice I put the seat back. Yeah. Yes, definitely. As I always do. So no. Good. Oh, Good I think I might. Yeah. I might go for the ready-made road. To be honest. Yeah. Fair enough. My attempt was a little bit rough and ready. <laughs> well, not that it's. Yeah, actually, I might use that picture. Even though it's to do with staggered junctions, I might just use that. Because I like that picture. Now, when I do this, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to use this picture. Well, it's just yeah. for the camera. I'm going to use that picture, which is staggered junctions. We're not talking about staggered junctions. I like it because we got we got choices. Because mm. we're really talking about how to turn the car around. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the lesson theme. What options have we got? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What options haven't? More importantly, what options haven't we got? Yeah. Reverse onto driveways and stuff like that. Yeah, so now your people learns like what what is the point of the lesson? What are we doing? Why are we doing it? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. really that's kind of key. Of course. Yeah. So all these the words pre prepared down the side, I'm obviously not using that, so ignore them words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'll be drawing writing on it. Okay, I'm gonna put my seatbelt on just in case we get a rear end. Mm -hmm. yeah. You never know. Could happen. And have you set yourself up? Yes, I have, yeah. Okay. Yeah, all good. Are you yeah. happy with your head restraint? It's a bit lower, actually. Well spotted. Yeah. So if that was done in row, I'd yeah. we'd be talking about identify, analyse, 
remedy, yeah. headrest, D triple SM, all of that. Okay, so you definitely sure because your mirrors are good. I don't want to start having to correct cockpit drill faults mid manoeuvre, otherwise I'll be like, it's all good. But he's <laughs> now just for the camera. He said it's good. You better be. <laughs> <laughs> and your mirrors, Apparently just right just with your mirror <laughs> set up, because you will be using your mirror. And we talked about dropping the mirror. In your mirror, have you got half road, half sky, and can you see a little bit of door handle? Yes. Very good. Can you? I'm just having all the window. Can you see all of this door handle? Yes, I can. Yeah. To the bottom of it, yeah. The whole door handle's in. Just needs to get a little bit lower. Yeah. And so, just to make sure we're still maintaining a good view of half road, half sky down yes. there. Yeah. He was on the A47 and someone was nipping up the left side, you'd see him yeah, from coming from a long way away. You can look right up to the end of that road, yeah? Yeah. Definitely. Good. Magic, because that's what we want. So now I, don't, now I know I don't have to dip that mirror for yeah. you, because okay. you'll see it. You will see it. Okay, so um, let the plane go over, then we'll start. So, uh, okay, so in roll then. Okay, yeah. Russell, uh -huh. so we've arrived at the location. Now, I mentioned before we left off, the theme of the lesson today, we're gonna to look at turning the car around. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna look, explore different options on how you could turn mm -hmm. the car around if you've gone the wrong way, or the police have shut the road, or there's a flood, or yeah. something like that. Okay, so, um, and just remind me, what maneuvering have we done so far? Did say what you said? You know, in my Last opinion. week we pulled up on the right and reversed back two car lengths. Plus, in fact, we started off with a straight reverse on the left as well. All right, which is really good. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about the reverse on the left that you did before that. Mm -hmm. How did you? Where did you look when you reversed? I'm, I made sure of um, all-round observations. So I was I was looking in all the mirrors, looking out the back. In terms of Keeping it straight though, I was tracking mainly the curb against the side of the vehicle in that mirror. Good, that so that, that helps you keep the reference point uh, yeah. the distance mm, yeah. safe. Mm. Yeah. You didn't want to hit the curb. I, I said don't hit the curb because so you'll scrape my alloys, I think I said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and you didn't. No. And looking at, if you look out the back now, yeah. out the back window, where does the curb come into the back of the car? Comes in at the middle of the car, more or less. We'll look out there. So yeah. that's another reference point. You yes, could use. Right. So you could use that, and you can yeah. use that. Right. Um, well, just remember that because that'll come in handy. Yeah. For today. Okay. Good. So okay. So anyway. So um, and did we? So we talked about your observations when you manoeuvred. Mm -hmm. What other two? What other two skills did we look at while you were manoeuvring last week? So observation. Was Coordination one. and accuracy, wasn't it? Yeah, coordination and control. Coordination and control. And the axle we were just talking about, using the yeah. mirror and out the back, course, you could yeah. keep an accurate mm -hmm. distance without yeah. hitting the curb. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring those skills in and build on them today with mm -hmm. what we're going to be doing with um, turning the car around. Um, so we're looking at coordination and controls, keeping the car nice and slow. How did you do that? How did you make the car go slow when you're reversing? Using the, the same method as you use when you're creeping and peeping out of a junction. So Very just good. really slow up on the clutch. Yeah. That's it. And if the car started to roll away, what would you do? Put the clutch a down hill. a little bit to to reduce the power. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah. So yeah. if it was on a hill, it might gain a little bit of speed, might it? So you drop the clutch, and if it started to roll on the hill, what would you do? Just You're bringing the brake a little bit to so yeah. slow it down. Yeah. Mm. That's yeah. it. Good. So you can just dab in the brake. So coordination controls check. We've talked about accuracy, all round effective. Yeah. And you and accuracy. Yeah. So we're going to bring those skills into what we're going to do mm -hmm. today. So turning the car around. So let me. The theme of the lesson is turn around. Let me just put that on there. Let's turn car around. And we want to think about options. How are we going to do this? So let's say. Let's look at my picture. Let's say you're the little red car, mm -hmm. yeah. and you've just you're, you're driving on the sat nav, and it said, oh. Russell, I won't say Russell, perform a U-turn, <laughs> yeah. turn the car around. Okay, so you want to get going back, you've gone past your turn where you should have gone. Yeah. What are your options? How could you turn the car around in this road on the picture? In fact, hey, the pen. Yeah. You take that. Mm -hmm. And you draw in there what, what options you think you could do. You draw your paths where you could go. I guess I know that, that 
my parents in the past might have come around here and taken a bit of a wide, wide angle around here to get back. Yeah, so that, well, do you front. know what that manoeuvre is called? U turn, is it? U turn, yeah. So is yeah. it legal to do a U turn on a junction on the right? If it's clear. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, totally yeah. legal manoeuvre. So yeah. That's all right. As long yeah. as it's safe, you have to yeah. think when you're doing this, any manoeuvre, mm -hmm. you have to sort of do a risk assessment. Often we call it a, a dynamic risk assessment. Yeah. So just assessing the risk. So if if you were going to do that manoeuvre, and I know that it's bin day and the bin lorry's coming up here, so you've had a look and you thought, well, the bin lorry's coming there, or a bus, or mm, yeah. a group of kids on bikes, would you do the manoeuvre? You wouldn't, would you? No. Right. Or if you had a. No. a a courier van right up your chuff behind you and yeah. they're turning in as well would you do that wouldn't work no no because you, no. you're going to come into problems yeah. aren't you Definitely. so uh yeah sure. so to reduce our risk we'd yeah. choose another method mm. we'd drive we'd turn right and go find yeah. somewhere else to turn around so yeah but if it was safe yeah. legal convenient have we talked about scalp yes absolutely it's a safe legal that, convenient yeah. places we're doing yeah. that risk assessment yeah. dra Okay, so you've done, you could do yeah. a U-turn on that one. Well, how else could you turn If around? the road was clear, I wonder if you could do a turn in the road. So there, to there, to there. That's it, yeah. Often called a three-point turn. Yeah, okay. But we might need more shunts if the road's yeah. narrow. Yeah, mm, sure, yeah. Out of those two, what would be the, the best option to do a three-point turn or a U-turn, do you think? If you could risk assess that. Imagine that it's like the picture is today and the road's quiet and there aren't any bin roads or buses or groups of kids about. Out of the U-turn and the turn in the road, which option would you The be quickest, in my opinion, would, would be that U-turn because there's, you're less likely to create a hazard, whereas this takes a little bit longer. Good. That's yeah. exactly it. And yeah. doing the U-turn, yeah. did you have to reverse? No. And what does the highway code say about reversing? Keep it to a minimum. Right. Okay. Avoid it if you can. Right. Only reverse if yeah. necessary. Okay. And any reversing, just keep to a minimum right, okay. because why do you think they say that why do you think they want you to keep reversing to like at a minimum presumably there's greater risk greater hazard involved yeah like if you look yeah. out the front mm, yeah you, the cars are designed primarily for going forwards yeah so all the design is to look out front yes you look out the back what what obstructions have we got looking at there there's all the blind spots the side pillars and all sorts yeah headrest yeah. what if yeah. you had people in there or, or yeah of course, bags yeah. or a van mm -hmm. if you drove a van that'd be a really bad yeah. idea to reverse it yeah. so yeah so yeah. so that would be the best option but that's still a legal option yeah. you could still do yeah. a, a turn in the road sure. okay so that's another option yeah. what other options you got the last one which i think might be while we're here today is to do a do a nice reverse around there and then pull out into your lane that okay. way okay Yes, you could. So that would involve reversing into that side yes. road. Mm -hmm. Is that legal to reverse into a side road? If it's a minor road, major to minor. Yes, yes you can. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What about if you drove into it and reversed out? Could you do that? Because you see people do that all the time. Could you do that? You shouldn't do because it's minor to major. Exactly. Yeah. So that would be illegal. So you can reverse into a side sure, road. Yeah. Well, if that was a no entry, a one way street with cars only coming out so no entry going in could you, you reverse into no it? good because a lot no. of people think you can because they think well i'm, I'm facing the right oh, direction okay, no, so i right. could reverse in but no 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 no, no. it's no. Is no entry whether sure. you're going forwards or backwards yeah. the final option that I, the only other option i could think of would be to drive around the block if you knew the area that's good so yeah. if your sat nav was on yeah and you mm. drive you thought you know ignore that mm. yeah do a u-turn mm. drive yeah. to the end it'll recalculate and take mm. you around the block yeah no reversing, better option. Yeah, definitely if, safer. But it's not, so what I want you to understand is turning the car around, you need to be aware of your responsibility of the risks, how mm. you evaluate yeah. those risks and make the right choices yeah. before you turn around. There is one that you haven't said that you could okay. do on this mm -hmm. just little diagram. Can I have the pen? Yes. Absolutely. What about if you drove in there and did that? Okay, yeah. If you do that? Mm -hmm. So you could do a U-turn using the junction on the left. Yes. Yeah. Again, absolutely. it's safe. And we're going to teach you how to do all of these methods on today's lesson. We've got two yeah. hours together, so we're going to be um, we're going to by the end of today we're going to have you turning and in all sorts of places. Cold. I'll get you up colder sacks. So we have to turn around. I'll say I'll, I'll pretend to be your sat nav and say Russell, you need to turn around, and yeah. then you can evaluate <laughs> yeah. on the move on the fly. 
and do some dynamic risk assessment where you could do it. And if you're going to make right. a boo boo and like do something illegal or yeah. bad, I'll be like, oh no 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 no, don't do that. All right. So that's sort of what we're going to do today. Yeah. So the um, if we look at this junction on the left, we've got a junction just yeah. up here on the left there. Um, have a little look at it. Could you do a U-turn in that junction? I don't think you could because it's quite narrow. It's too narrow. Isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So what yeah. Would, if we're going to use that as an option to turn around? What would be a better option if we can't do the U-turn? We'll need to reverse into it. That's it. So just like you said, so you said you'll drive up past it a little bit and go in and come out the other way. Yeah. Mm. Very good. That's what we're going to do. Okay. And we're going to do that safely. Um, and teach you how to do that. So, should we sort of just break that down a little bit and just give you yeah. a bit of detail mm -hmm. on how to do that? Because in terms of the accuracy, what we want to do is keep reasonably close to the curb, reverse around that corner, and stay on our side of the road. Mm -hmm. So the road we're going into hasn't got these centre white lines, mm -hmm. but it is two way. Yeah. So don't think you can just stray over. We're going to imagine that that's two way and we're going to stay on our side. So, to do that, you'll have to stay pretty close to the yeah. curb. Mm -hmm. The way you're going to do that is you're going to see the curb in that mirror, and we'll talk more about it when we get over there about how that's yeah. going to look. Okay. And um, you're going to keep like about a distance of a bit more than a drain width cover. A bit like as if you, if you were driving out there forwards, mm -hmm. that's yeah. the same path you'd go in but reversing back yeah. in. So, you're not going to be scraping along the curb or anything like that. But you're going to be reasonably close to it. Sure. Okay. Now we'll just reverse a short back in distance into the junction. Now, if you were doing this for real and turning round, you'd come there, and as soon as your sort of wheels are just before the give way lines, you'd, you'd emerge from have it. Have a look. And you'd, you'd go. Yeah. Because we're going to sort of have a little chat after. I, I just want you to reverse round and continue about two or three car lengths back. So we just tuck it in there near the curb. Yes. We're going to have a chat because yeah. then we're going to drive out forwards and have another go. Yeah. So okay. we'll have a couple of goes at least yeah. at this. So, um, so to, for training purposes, we're going to do it a little bit different and go reverse back unnecessarily mm. far. Yeah. Than mm. what we would normally do if it's safe to do so. Just so we can have that little chat yeah. and have another do, do a debrief, have another go. Yeah. Happy okay. with that. Definitely good. So let's talk a bit, a bit more detail. So as you drive forwards, so you're going to move off, driving towards this this junction. We're going to do our DRA. What does that stand for? Dynamic risk risk assessment. So what does it stand for? As you get nearer to this junction, you're just moving up to it. Where are you going to be looking? What are you assessing? You'll be looking down the junction to make sure it's clear. That's it. What would prevent you from doing this manoeuvre today? If there were any hazards in the junction. Yeah, a parked car would put right. a spanner in the okay. works. It would, of course it would. Better yeah. parked car there. Yes, it would. Um, or on the other side. Yeah. Um, a group of kids playing. Yeah, right. Um, bus, like we said before, a bus. Been you know. yeah. So we're not going to inconvenience people by doing this. And hopefully, because I've picked this location, mm -hmm. we should be able to get around there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so you're going to you're gonna assess the risks coming in. What about behind? Would you have to be consider what's coming on behind at this point? That's important, particularly, particularly whilst you're in this carriageway. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Because they're going to wonder, why is he driving so slow? Yes. Because you're yeah. just having a look in, aren't you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll get, where are we going to need to pull up to start this manoeuvre? Just just past the junction. All right. Just, so yeah. we don't want to go too far past no. it. Just if we look at our junction, there's a little drop curb, someone's driveway just yeah. after it. Just pull up in front of that driveway. Right. Okay. If someone's coming out, though, if yeah. you notice someone reversed out, mm. just continue on a little bit further yes. so we're not in their way. Okay. okay. So we're going to pull up about a car length past the junction. To minimise our reverse, mm -hmm. we don't want to pop down there, do we? No. <laughs> okay, good. So, um, so now we're at our starting position. So I'll rub these off now, and then we're going to reverse back in a straight line to our point of turn. Because notice the curb starts to curb at a point, doesn't it? You know, when yes. we've emerged from junctions, we come yeah. up there. We don't just continue straight and end up in that position, do we? No. We steer a little bit before it and go yeah. with the curb, don't we? Mm -hmm. And we've called that a point of turn, haven't we, when we've done that going forwards. Yes. So it's the same as, it's literally a mirror image of yeah. going forwards, mm -hmm. but we're going backwards. Mm -hmm. So as you um, get to this point, it's a little bit different because 
the front wheels steer and the back wheels are fixed, aren't they? Yeah. So the back axle becomes like our pivot point. The car yeah. will pivot on that axle. Right. Okay. So we want to get our back wheels to the point of turn. Imagine the little dotted line going across there where the kerb starts to peel yes. off. Yes. We want to get our back wheels near that point mm -hmm. as our point of turn. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you want me to help you with that point? That would be good, yeah. Definitely. So when we get to that point, I'll tell you to stop. Mm, yeah. Then you can have a look. You'll either see the kerb in that mirror or out of the back window. Mm -hmm. And you can judge for yourself. So you've got your own little unique reference yeah. point, so you can judge that. And if, as you change cars in the future, as you go through mm -hmm. your driving life, you're going to have to identify different reference points for different vehicles. Mm, yeah. But the back axle, no matter what you're driving, a fixed wheel vehicle, yeah. the back axle is the the pivot point. Yeah. That's why you want to get it. Whether you're driving a big old right. van like that down there, mm -hmm. yeah. that's the point of turn. Right. Yeah? The pivot point. So that's really yeah. important that you just understand that. Yeah. Okay, so we're at our point of turn. What way are we going to need to steer? If we're reversing left around the corner? Down to the left. That's it. Yeah. Same as if you're going out yeah. forwards to a left. Yeah. If you're of driving course. out forwards left, you yeah. steer left. If you're reversing to a left, you yeah. steer left. Yeah. Now as you steer, what's going to happen to the front of that vehicle, bearing in mind the pivot point it's is on the back axle? It's going to move out here a little bit, isn't it? That's it. So that car is going to sweep across the yeah. road, isn't it? Mm, the front. Yeah. Effectively like a door closing across yes. onto the other carriageway. So if a vehicle's coming up here to overtake you or coming from ahead or out of the driveways in your mm. blind spots yeah. to the right, um, are we going to affect them potentially? Definitely, yes. Yeah. yeah. So what would you do so that you don't affect them? You'd make sure that you you're doing all around observations, checking your blind spot. Very good. So you're gonna look ahead, mirror, blind spot, and make sure no one's trying yeah. to come round you, whether it be a cyclist or a pedestrian mm, or a car. Yeah. Just wait and let them pass. Yeah. How are they gonna know you're planning to reverse? That you're what you're doing. Because what signal? Your reverse lights will be on. That's it. Yeah. So you'll have your reverse lights on. So they'll know. What about cars ahead? Will they know whether you're reversing or not? The the only the only sign they'll have is that the car's moving backwards. Yeah, well That's if they're coming if they're coming to squeeze yeah. through that yeah. gap mm, yeah. and mm. you don't want to move, just wait. You maybe put a left signal on. Yeah. If so if someone's confused mm, about yeah. looking at you thinking, why is he parking? What's junction? he doing? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Mm. We could just pop a left signal on yeah. and let when we're an active car make eye contact. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so because that's the safety thing, we need to be taking yeah. effective observations around the car. And then we're going to steer left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then how much are you going to steer to go around that corner? As much as you need to. Exactly. How much would you steer if you were going out forwards? As much as you need to. Exactly. You, don't, yeah. you, can, <laughs> no. you can put a number on it. No. You, you can, is it no. a quarter steer, a three quarter steer, a steer and a half? 84 degrees. Yeah, it no. depends on yeah. how severe the bend is, doesn't yeah, it? Because some corners might be more gradual like that. Yeah. And then you'd, put, you'd maybe put just a quarter on and go yes. around. Mm. If it's sharp, you're going to steer a lot more. You might even go to a full lock. Yeah. So um, mm -hmm. this one is quite sharp. Mm -hmm. So I think, well, where we could even get to a full lock right. on this one. Yeah. So, um, so it's going to be quite a sharp one. But we shall see. So then we're going around the corner, and as we start, we've checked the, you know, before we steer. As we're going round, you're going to need a way of seeing the curve, because I'm going to ask you to stay a constant yeah. distance mm -hmm. from the curve. So you'll either see it in that mirror, mm -hmm. you will, well, you will see it in that mirror. Yes, yeah. You might even see it in the window behind me in the corner. Yeah, right. So you might have a couple mm -hmm. of places. Where you yeah. won't see it at this point is out the back. So if you look out the back, your view's out there. The only curb you'll see is on the other side of the road. Course, that's, yeah. that's not the curb. No, no don't, wrong curb. Don't stay close to that one, because <laughs> we'll be on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. So your curb will be on your side, down yes. this side of the car. Mm -hmm. And then when you get round that corner, when you're at that angle and you're looking out the back, would you see the curb now? Yes. You would. Really, it would yeah. come back into mm. it. It would creep in the corner behind me yeah. and move back towards the middle where it is yeah. Now. Sure, yeah. So as that creeps back, when it gets into the middle where it is now, you'd straighten your wheels mm -hmm. and you'd continue back just a couple of car lengths, if mm -hmm. it's safe, yeah. come to a stop. Okay. And then we're in. Okay, good. Secure the vehicle, relax. Mm -hmm. We'll then celebrate how well you just did and then we'll <laughs> talk about how you're going to do yeah. it on your own. Okay. So just to remember those points. So the first one really is primarily about you just knowing that you can do it, that you've yes. got the ability mm -hmm. to do it, knowing where your points of turn are, mm -hmm. 
how it looks so we're going to take it nice and slow yeah um so you can just sort of know how to do it yeah. then once okay. you've done that i reckon you'll be good to go and do one on your own but That's we'll awesome. see we'll see how you feel yeah okay good happy days so i'm just gonna rob that off have you got any questions not at the moment no so no. you know about dra you know about safe legal convenient yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the three skills we're using? Coordination, Coordination control. Observation accuracy, yeah. We put all that together into the mix and we come out with a lovely manoeuvre. Right. Yeah. That's what we're doing. So, without further ado, I want to get rid of all of this stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... So for the first one, are you happy for me to talk you through? Definitely. Just so you get it yeah. right. Definitely so if you get it right, you'll feel confident. You'll know, you'll know what you're doing next time. Yeah. We don't want to waste any time. Do we get it no. wrong? That's no, for the sure. users. <laughs> right. Okay. Anyway, so um, I want to actually. Yeah, I'm popping my window up, but should I do that? I think potentially it might help being able to hear things as well. I'll put it, I'll put it back there again. Yeah. That's it. And it's Good. not cold. So yeah. And later on in life, when you're turning around the, the car and you've got the kids in the car or yeah your mates, yeah. your radio on, what could you do to help you concentrate and hear better? Put some gaffer tape around the yeah. kids' mouths and turn yeah. the radio off. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's metaphorically so, so, speaking so that's what you'd, for the benefit of the camera. You'd have to manage, because yeah. you're the driver, you're, yeah. you're responsible, you're managing the situation. Yeah. Sometimes you will have to tell people to be quiet. It's just a minute. Yeah, or even duck, yeah. down, like, duck down in the seat, yeah. you know, so that yeah. you can see. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So use you know use your mouth sometimes to be yeah. in control of the situation. So anyway, so let's today we won't have any of that aggravation. No. <laughs> just no. nice quiet, just me <laughs> in your ear hole. So um so when you're ready, I'd yeah. like you to start the engine. Okay. And go for your normal safety checks yeah. before moving off. It's been a little while since you've done yeah. that. Yeah. Maybe as you do it, keep your hand on the handbrake. As you yeah, check the sure. handbrake off, then you'll be away. Nice and slick. Okay, good. So update your mirrors. Anything behind? No, nope, we're all clear. So we're going to do a little DRA. Got to look into this road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I want you to assess whether that's a viable option to turn the car. Definitely, no problem at all. Looking good. Anything yeah. behind? No, nope, nothing behind. So keep moving just, now, actually. Just, just well, do you need a signal to let them know? Probably will do actually, yeah, just... Oh, they're a long way away, aren't they? They are, yeah. That's it, and don't park in a normal park position. Just keep about a drain width of cover away from the car. Okay, so I'm probably a little bit too close. I think it's well, turning... No, you're not too bad, you're okay, not too bad. Well, we'll, we'll just pause here for a minute, see what that yeah. car's going to do. So he's got turning. a turn signal on. So unless this was his driveway, then we'd move forwards, but he's just made yeah. the turn into that road. Good. Okay. So just um, yeah, turn the signal off, you've done that. So let's have a look at this distance from the curb, because we want to stay reasonably close to it. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be yeah, right up nice. against it, because you'll be scraping the alloys down the curb otherwise. So if you look in the mirror, how far away from the curb would you say you are at this point? Probably about six inches. Well, let me have a look, see what it actually is. Or is it a lot further than that? Probably, like, probably about 10 inches. Okay. So we're, we're okay. Wait, did they do? It's yeah. all right. So if you look in that mirror, you can sort of see that that distance, 10 inches, yeah. it looks quite small. It, it does, yes. Mm. So if you, I'm just coming into your line of sight there, if you keep that distance constant, mm -hmm. do you yes. get any closer than this during this manoeuvre? I want you to stop. Okay. Okay. Right, yes. If you get too far away from it, you can't see it at all, I want you to stop. Yeah, right. That shouldn't happen because I'm not going to let you do it. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we want to see the curve roughly at that distance mm -hmm. throughout the whole manoeuvre in that mirror. Right. Good stuff. Now we're going to go and find our point of turn. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to help with that, yeah? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Now I could give you a little tip. I'll give you a little pointer just to show you what things are going to look like. Now I'm going to get my pen and just draw in the mirror. So I'm going to put my pen down the bottom of the mirror and I want you to, I'm going to move up and down and I want you to tell me to stop where the curb is. Where's the curb? Can you have I blocked your view of the curb? Can you see? Where's the curb? Okay, so there, there, just there. there. Sorry, there. back a little bit, back a little bit, just there. I'm gonna draw a line. 
So that right in the middle yeah. of the mirror. Right. So the curb, oh now we've got Tesco. So dynamic risk assessment. Yeah. We're thinking, oh, he's now delivering. Could the car get through that gap? I think it could. I'd agree. So we're gonna could, continue. Yeah. Otherwise we'd yeah. move on and go find yeah, somewhere sure. else to do this. Okay. So as we get towards the as we reverse back, that yeah. curb is gonna start moving. Yes. And when it gets into this corner like that, I want to stop. Right. Right. Makes sense. It will yeah. do. But it makes it more sense when you get there. So at the moment, it's in the middle of the mirror, and it's gonna. It, as you get close, it's gonna peel away to the edge of the mirror. Yes. I don't want you to lose the curb. I want you to keep the view of the curb throughout. Right. So let's give it a little go. So all round effective observations before you move mm. off. Before you have, uh, well, go on. take that back. Yeah. So I just said all round effective observations before you move off. What's the routine we use before we move off? The POM the, routine? The POM. So yep. before the observation, yep. I instructed you badly there, what should you do before you take that effective observation? Prepare the vehicle. And how are you going to select reverse? Uh, by On this vehicle. Putting the clutch all the way down, pushing it over to the... And how do you know reverse has gone in? Left. Because there's that audible beep. Good stuff. Yep. So we know we've got parking sensors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Skid, so, so now you're prepared, and then I'd like to take effects for observation. Being aware of Tesco's, yeah. the Audi A1, and that blue car on your right shoulder. Ooh. Yeah, mm. okay. Got a gravel driveway, so you'd hear people walking across that, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. And I want you to keep the wheels nice and straight when it's safe, and just reverse back to our point of turn. Okay. So remember, you're going to stop when the curb gets towards the corner of that mirror. Out of the back. That's it. Good. Keeping the wheels nice and straight, I see. Don't steer yet. And when you get to the near the junction, come to a stop. Okay, keep your feet still as you're in gear. Is the curb where you wanted it? Just put a left signal on just yeah, to okay. so we're not confused. It's got this car take behind. Reverse and lights off or we all they right? leave them on. Okay. And we'll just say thanks okay. away. Yeah. Okay. Just because we want to leave the signal on, as so they don't think we've changed our minds. Of course, okay. yeah. Sure. Okay, so now we're all clear. Keep your feet still. Where are we in relation to that curb? Has it come home to the corner of the mirror yet? Yes, I'd say it's just about there. Now. I'm going to come into a line of sight. We right. need to go a little bit further. Do we okay? Right, sure. Yeah, okay. Right. So prepare again, which is already in reverse, all round effects observation, and keep a nice slow curl. And the curb's going to start moving towards the corner of the mirror and just stop before it disappears. About there, I right, would say. About there, yeah. Yeah. Right. Just take it out of gear, just for a sec, just so I'm aware your poor little foot no, no resting. Worries, yeah. <laughs> There's no one about to be confused about the loss of the signal. So now we're at that point. I'm going to rub that off now. Okay. Yeah. So that's our point of turn. You can just see the curb in there yeah, about right. to disappear. Yeah, sure. Now we're going to steer and we're going to make it come back. To our reference point. Okay. All right. Right. Okay. So, oh, oh, I left my teeth out with a with a pen. I want you to start from your left all the way round. Yeah. Because at this point, the car is going to swing out. Isn't it? Sure. Yeah. And okay. we need to make sure no one's coming past. Okay. Okay. And as a, I mean, we talked about not being prescriptive with the steer, but oh, what's happening with that car in your right side? There is a car reversing out actually. Okay. Yeah, just, just, just see what they're doing. Up now, yeah. If at this point, if we're impacting on them or impeding them, we might move forward. But I don't think we are, because they're going to go the other are, way, no. are they? I think we're all right. Yeah, no, we're okay. That's it. Good. Just so we're aware of them, magic. Okay, so, um, so yeah, so if we, with the steering, if we start by steering, because it's quite a sharp one, put a whole turn on as a start. You might need to add more because this is just to get you a good sure, start yeah. of how much to go round. So all round effective observation, looking round. Keep the car really slow. We've got a camera on this road so the car might speed up. So be aware of how to control the car. And take right mirror again. Okay. And I want you to keep going round so the curb comes into the middle again. Curve with your yeah, that's no, a good distance. Have another look out the back for me, make sure it's safe. 
Okay. You're doing a good job, Russell. Good job. <laughs> and now, if you just pause there for a second, you don't need to take it out of gear or anything. Just keep your feet still. No one's behind. Now, if you look out the back window, can you see the kerb on our side yet? No, it's over on the right of the vehicle as you're looking out. Soon it's going to come back into view. Yeah, of so course. So you can still see it there? Yes. And mm -hmm. then it's going to come into the back yeah, window. Sure. Yeah, sure. So if it's safe, we're just going to carry on round a little bit further. Yeah. And if you look out the back, any moment now you're going to see the kerb coming back into view. Out of that back window. There it is. Yeah, and straighten up. That's a good distance from the kerb. Always, but yeah. No, you're fine. You're you're an equal distance. That's where we started. Look out the back again. And so, where is the curve back in the middle? Where it, it started? is. Yes. So yeah. now you could use that as a reference yeah. point, combined with the mirror and in front right mirror, yeah. and just stop for a minute and right shoulder. Because whatever pedestrians just crossing the road in your blind no, spot. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So let's try and keep the wheels nice and straight mm. now, and go back in a straight line. And we're going to go back another couple of car lengths. So like you did last week. Look out the back. Yeah. Good, good, good. And you're a beautiful distance from the curb. Good. Check right side, right shoulder. Yeah. Good. And I'm going to say just one more car length. And that'll be fine there. Okay. How'd you feel? Good, yeah, good. Succeeded. It's the first time that I've ever done that. It went well. <laughs> Good. So, um, so did using the reference Good. points kind of help you? Massively, track? massively, definitely. So, and it's going to help me in terms of instructing it. Sorry, out of roll for a quick second. Yeah, no, it's yeah. So, very you've, good. yeah. So, let's come out of roll. Yeah, sure. So you've seen it from the through the learner's eyes. That's really good. And um, so, what you won't see on camera, I did just draw in the mirror based on what you told me because that's they, really good as well good I would have thought of doing points. that because yeah. the kerb does start in the mirror and as you get off yeah. to call it just goes into the tip it does yes it then does, you turn yeah. and it comes back yeah that massively keeps, helps this is why I wouldn't drop the mirror you don't I you don't, don't need to clearly as I've just proved to myself there yeah so yeah. um, no, so I, that's why I sort of did that because I know you sort of said didn't yeah. you drop the mirror mm. yeah you can but there's, there's I no just need. wanted you yeah. to see that you're still. that's really good. And now you ain't got to remember to adjust it. No. You can just drive off and excellent, yeah. Carry that's good on as she was. Works so very well. That after that, I'd then get my people to drive forwards out. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. the next one, I'd have, we'd have a discussion about who's responsible. Are you going to do this one? Do yeah. you want my help? Sure. Yeah. If I think you're going wrong, mm -hmm. I just say stop. Walk. Do this. Do that. Just yeah. to correct. Yeah. Things. No, that's very good. Um, and after, I reckon, three attempts, the third one, you'd be doing that without me saying anything. Brilliant. And yeah. I'd say, yeah, do you know what, that's good. Now let's go and find another junction, see, do another DRA yeah. in. Yeah. Going, then, then we could introduce reversing round the corner to the right. Mm. Yeah. Or doing a U-turn, or yeah. doing a turn in the road, or into a cul-de-sac and mm. turning yeah. there. Okay. All the things we started at the beginning in that, in that, um, mm. yeah briefing yes yeah good so yeah so that that's yeah that's that's, that's it. excellent that's it. and it works perfectly as i've just just demonstrated without dropping the mirror so yeah yeah very so helpful. um that's very good the national standards say we're not teaching a method yeah this is how you do it for your test do this do that do that we're trying to get the people to understand what the risks are, yeah. what options they've got, how they're going to make those decisions. Mm -hmm. And of course we're going to give them the skills and tell them where to turn and help them. But, yeah. mm -hmm. but there's there's more methods to do, isn't there? Yeah. You know, um, did we like we didn't have to drive this far forward. We could have we could have just driven so we could maintain our view in that junction. So we went past past the junction mm, didn't we yes, yeah. then you lost your view into this road if we'd stopped a bit shorter than that mm. at the point of turn you yeah. could have stopped at the point of turn and just reversed in got your back wheels yeah. over to give way lines looked and straight back out yeah. without doing all this this of is course. this is this is more from the old style because this used to be mm. in the test and course, the examiner yeah, right. didn't say i want you to turn the car around mm. 
he said, I want you to reverse around the corner to the mm. left. I want you to pull up past the junction, reverse around the corner, keeping reasonably close mm. to the curb, yeah. and reverse a reasonable distance back. Right, yeah. And then when you've done it, that's the end of the manoeuvre. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's different saying turn the car around in it. They yes, wanted definitely. you to stay, go past, yeah. go mm. two or three back, and stay reasonably close mm. to the curb. Yeah. Mm. They were asking for it. They wasn't saying turn the car around. Because if you're preparing mm. someone for mm. a taxi test, mm. then you'd say, well, just pass in, out, right. done. As long yeah, as they're yeah. looking at effective observation and not affecting cars or going on the wrong mm. side of the road or yeah. off the footpaths. Mm. They've, they've efficiently turned the car around yeah. safely, then that's what we'd look mm. at. Yeah. Um, which you might get into taxi stuff later because we're, we're just giving options. Like they might just decide to do a U turn, right, yeah. whatever mm. they think is best yeah. mm. in that situation. Okay, All right, yeah. so that's that one. So, did you want to? Good. Very did good. you want to have a go with me doing the uh, uh, pupil thing? That'd be good if there's time, yeah. Fantastic, that'd be good. So I'm going to get us back into position. Yep. Yeah. No worries, sure, I'm good. Have a little bit of chicory pokery. Yep. <laughs> to save me going around the block. Yeah, no worries. But I know you do it safe. I was on a lesson in, in this earlier this morning and I'm back there this afternoon and police cordoned off part of the road they found a dead body in the churchyard nearby to where oh, I was shit, doing the lesson. It, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> they found it then, yeah. That's and, why I hit that up. And typically it's part of my route on the lesson this afternoon so I'm hoping the road is going to be open by the time I go. Get on there, otherwise I'll have to Bloody change hell. things a little bit, but it all goes on in this, yeah. <laughs> okay, brilliant. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, as you said, if there's time, we start at half one. It's half two, yeah? That's right, isn't it? We just start at half one. We've got another hour left. I thought we started... What did we start at? We started at... Oh no, we started at one. We started at one, yeah, we did, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, it, because I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah we right. did, yeah. Because, yeah. Because What's I'm, going on my day today? What's going on? Because I'm, I need to leave for, for this at three o'clock, because it's about... We moved it 50 minutes. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Now it makes sense because you've thrown all my times out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a creature of habit. Yeah. I had my lunch at half twelve. To Dear, half yeah, all right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, so we have we've got time. Okay, good. Excellent. We've yeah. got a half hour. Brilliant. No to worries, do yeah. a talk, a briefing, and yeah. a go. Excellent. Good. Whew. Happy? Definitely. All good, yeah. 
excellent okay so what I might do is just no no I'll keep it rolling there's just chance okay. that we're just in the halfway through and might be annoying we might have to press play again yeah. but we'll take that chance I okay. can enrol whenever you like. Enrol then. Okay, Howard. Today's lesson then is all about uh, turning the car around in the road. Okay. And yeah, so that's the main the main theme. Tur turning around. Uh, turn around in the road. So first of all, let's imagine that you're the little red car down here. Yeah. Take the pen if you would and just. Draw on there. Just show me the options. What of what there might be is in terms of turning around. Well, what can you, you think could. Of? What perhaps have you seen your parents do? Or? Well, my dad's a taxi driver, so. Uh, oh, okay. So, know so he knows way. all the tricks in the book. He knows all the shortcuts. <laughs> yeah, right. he's good at shortcuts and cutting <laughs> corners. Yeah. Um, no, I shouldn't yeah. say that. <laughs> sorry. If you're a taxi driver, think about being in driver's side. So like, I stop. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so, so anyway, my dad is a taxi driver. So yeah, I um. Well, you could go. I've seen him like you can, you can go in there and just reverse out there and come back up the other way. Just I've seen him do that. Yeah. Or get, get, do like a U-turn sometimes. Do you think? Let's just think about the first one. Yeah. If he's pulling in here and reversing out of there, is that legal? Do you think? I assume it is. Yeah. It's not. Do you no. know? Do you know why it's not legal? This is the major road. You can't reverse from a minor into the major road. That's illegal. That's an illegal manoeuvre. So, well, might. so, so he, he, he might does be. It. He what might about be doing this that? situation where, you, like, this car's driven in the driveway? Because that's what we do. Our family kind of drives in. Reverse out onto the road in the morning, or when they come out. Hey, can you do that? They'd have to, wouldn't they? <laughs> They'd have to. They'd have to. So they haven't got so any option not to no, do that. No. Oh, okay. But in terms of they doing that manoeuvre, prevent all of that. They could, couldn't they? Definitely, yes. Oh, but so I tell my dad to do that then. Reverse into his driveway and not reverse out. I think I think you might tell you to mind your own business. He might, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He might. He might yeah. tell you to <laughs> go down the shed for a couple of hours. <laughs> okay. So um. So when when I because when I'm gonna buy a car, so yeah. should I should I just do what he does and drive it in then, drive it into the like that car? Do yeah. I think it's okay in your driveway isn't it? Oh is it? But okay. not so, not when you're not to reverse out of a minor junction in, onto a major road. That's not illegal. right. Well, they, that's a legal manoeuvre. Didn't know that. They should tr they should reverse in. Didn't know that. Because right. they're reversing okay. onto a main road. Of course, yeah, right. Now that one's going to enforce that. Yeah. But if there's an accident, well, it's your fault all day long. They reversed out onto a main road. Right. They should have. I stand corrected on that one. And yeah, this okay. is the link on this subject yes. because, yeah, not only this like a multi purpose subject, because look at that driver, it's narrow, isn't it? Yeah. And I, if I could have this skill of reversing into a narrow opening, that's why we're keeping me on my side of the road reasonably close to the curb, because yeah. then I could. I could I could have that skill. I could get in between yeah. them posts because it's it's literally just more than the car width. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A bit like going into a bay, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. If I could reverse into a bay. Yeah. Off the road, well, that's a good skill to have, isn't it? Yeah. That'd be like actually that'd be quite useful. Mm. Probably won't do this manoeuvre very much in my driving career, but I would do that every day. Yes. Yeah. And of I course. would do it well. Yeah. Looking at all my neighbours mm -hmm. driving in. And yeah. struggling on a frosty morning, yeah, with the kids bobbing down the footpaths, and they can't yeah. see them. No, right. And you've just significantly reduced my risk, right. and yeah. I'm doing it properly. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Definitely. So I'd be like, okay. well, thank you every, very much. Every day, I'm gonna have a chat day. with my dad on again. Mm, yeah. So, do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So this is what this is why I'm getting it wrong. Yes. Because your learners will. Yeah. Because they see this stuff. Yeah. Like, what, what, like, yeah. He, he never gets a ticket. Why? Well, well, you know, yeah. this must be all right then. Yeah. Because no, it's not enforced. No. Like people park on footpaths. Yeah. 
It's not enforced, is it? Mm. Do it in London, it's enforced. Right, yeah. Put your wheels up on a footpath or out of a parking bay in London, yeah. you're going to get a ticket, even if it's just not that much. Yeah, sure, right. Because okay. I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, my dad got done. Did he? Oh, did he literally, right. okay. back of his car, just, you yeah. know the little white lines, little dotted yeah. like, over, just hang, overhanging it a bit, or oh, picture taken. Yeah, mm -hmm. me. Got a ticket. Yeah, right. They're a bit overzealous down in London. Sounds like it, gee whiz, yeah. Cool. Right. Yeah. Like the Gestapo. Yeah, sounds <laughs> like it. Okay, so. Okay, right. Good. So we've looked at the options then. We know that potentially we can do the. The, the turn in the road, we come up here and do a U turn. You've already said that. So I can't drive in, I'd have to reverse in. Exactly so, right, which yeah. is what we're going to look at in terms of a manoeuvre now. Okay, yeah. Now, the, in terms of the process of how we do it, several times now you've pulled out of a junction and you've turned left. Yeah. How do you know how much to steer when you're turning out of that junction, turning left? Because you get it right every time, you do really well, don't you? Well, it what, depends what do you how do? severe the bend is. If it's a, some, yeah. some are open and more curvy, so I steer less. Some are really sharp, yeah. so I steer more. So you, we've always said that your hands follow your eyes, don't they? In terms of, yeah. and what are you gauging? What are you using as a reference point when you turn out to the left going forward? Yeah, oh, I what remember. are you using to a, for a reference point so you don't go over into the wrong lane? Well, so I followed the kerb. You gave me a point of turn where the kerb yes. sort of it went from my normal position, it drifted over. That's, yeah, near that, near the window wiper is my little reference point. Then yes, I turn, then I keep it. Then it comes back to me and I straighten. Good, right. fair enough. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Okay, so in terms of that reference point when you're turning forward. Yeah. We're going to be doing the same but in reverse. So oh, there'll be slightly be there, will it? there'll be slightly different reference points. Oh, okay. Which we'll yeah. have a look at. Oh of course, yeah, because I'm going back, isn't I? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive slightly past the junction. As we do drive past, we're going to yeah. drive past nice and slowly. Yeah. And we're going to do what's called dynamic risk assessment. So we're going to have a look down here to make sure there's no parked cars or other obstructions. That would mean we need to abort the manoeuvre and find somewhere else to turn around. So we're going to pull up just past the junction on the left, leaving about a drain a drain cover width between us and the kerb. All right, so about okay, that yeah. much. So not quite like in a park, which is a bit further out. A bit further out, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll come to a stop. Yeah. And what we'll do is. Um, this time round, when when you're turning, when you're going forward, yeah, your point of turn is when the front wheels, the front axle, reaches where that kerb turns. Yeah. When you're going in reverse, it's it's the the rear the rear axle. Oh, okay. Yeah. So as you come back, the point of turn, if you imagine the dotted line through there, just where that kerb starts to turn there. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you're going to start with your steering. Ah, okay. Right, yeah. And you're going to be checking the distance of the kerb in this mirror. And you'll also be checking the distance of the kerb in the rear mirror. So there'll be two reference points to this, help you this gauge. Mirror. The rear mirror. Sorry, the bigger part of the, the rear window. Oh, okay. Which we'll have a look at in a second. Yeah. And then the idea is we'll follow the kerb around, keeping the same distance, and we'll come back about two or three car lengths. Okay. And then we'll secure the vehicle. Now, what you have to remember... So do I have to go back all that far when I'm doing this in the like, for real, when I'm turning the car around? Not necessarily, no. What you'll probably do, and perhaps you, you said your dad's a taxi driver, if you've been in the car when he's done this manoeuvre, he's probably pulled well, back. Well, he doesn't do it, like he drives in and then reverses out. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. what I just said, he just goes. Oh, okay. You don't do well, that, no. But what, what he would do in this case, and what you'll do, you'll probably pull back to just behind the giveaway lines, and then you'll, you'll, you'll move over into your lane okay. and make progress. Well, I suppose that makes so, sense. I suppose that's, that's reverse, then, isn't it? It is, yeah. We're going to pull back here and have a chat about how it's all gone. Oh, I so, see. Oh, now, so you want me back further just so I'm out of the yeah. way? 
Now, remember the the criteria that we're working towards to carry out this manoeuvre uh, as perfectly as we possibly can. Uh, we have spoken about it when we did the pull over on the right and reverse back two car lengths. Can you remember the the acronym, the which is the criteria? Yeah, I remember them. What does it, what does it stand for? That's control. Or coordination of controls. Coordination, that's the one, excellent, yeah, good. And then observation yeah. and accuracy. Accuracy, definitely, good. Now, in terms of observation, what's the key the key feature of your observation? What what must you do with your all-round observation? Everywhere. Everywhere, brilliant. And accuracy, how are you going to achieve accuracy on the manoeuvre? Uh, I don't know, don't. Don't hit the curbs. Keeping it nice and slow. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if, if it's nice and slow. And how are you going to achieve the slow speed in terms of your clutch control? On the bike, just yeah, just don't bring it up too high. That's it. it What's the equivalent if you're pulling out of a junction? We've used a term before, haven't we? Not like Peep and Creep. That's the one, that absolutely, one? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Perfect, yeah. yeah, good. Yeah, Brilliant. Do okay. that. And if the car feels like it's going too quick, what are you going to do on the pedals? Slow it, clutch down, brake. Brilliant, yeah, just to keep it under control. So that's really good. Now the other thing to think about is as your car just reaches that point of turn and you start to turn, the front of the car is going to arc out here a little bit. Oh onto yeah. Onto the other lane. Yeah. So you need to be checking your centre mirror, your right mirror, but where else? Where's a really important point? Center right mirror over here. Your right blind spot. Perfect. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So what we'll do in the first instance, we'll pull up just past the junction. You can probably see just past the junction there's a drop curve. If we pull up just near to that, yeah. If it looks like we're going to inconvenience inconvenience anyone coming out of that driveway, we'll yeah. we'll pull up a little bit further. Okay. If you're happy to pull up there now, then please go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna Pop this other one on the back seat just before you move. Gonna... I was about to say, don't use that one. That's the one I clean my glasses with. Oh, I'm really sorry. Oh no. Oh, it's down in my thing. It's <laughs> my little glasses cleaner. <laughs> I'm very sorry. That one. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's funny. I'm sorry. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Actually, they need a wash. Oh dear I'm me, they do now, now, don't Someone, they? Someone, no. St you ain't the first. Oh you. dear. I'm going to keep them s s separate. separate yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I am. From now, this day on, I, I won't do that again. Never mix your glasses cleaner <laughs> with your duster. I won't do that again. Things can go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, anyway. so going back into roll, going to do it, yeah, yeah, right. Excellent. Okay, so we'll pull up, yeah, etc., etc., what I've already said. remember to look down the junction so slow off remember the dynamic risk assessment is it clear to go down there yeah okay good and then about here is perfect Excellent. okay fantastic now a couple of reference points let's just work out first of all um, uh, just make sure you use the right cloth. <laughs> so no, you can't now, they're, <laughs> yeah. they're separated. Excellent. Right, I'm just going to draw, can you see the curb in this mirror? Tell me where to stop, I'm going to draw a line as a reference point for you where the curb is. So where is it roughly? Come this way a bit. There. There, 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 there. There, uh, there, lovely. That's it, yeah. Just there. Okay, excellent. Now, if you look behind you, where is the curb coming into the centre? Uh, where is the curb coming into the rear the rear window? Uh, near that headrest. Near the headrest. Okay, good. Right. The idea is, as you reverse, once you straighten up. Power roll. Yeah. Am I looking at the back? No, you're looking in that mirror. Okay. So that reference points. Not quite right. I'm messing you about, aren't I? Okay, you I'm, are actually. And I missed that. I am not yeah, okay. looking where you want me to, okay. and you've accepted it. Okay, so no, you've got to say Howard. No, have a look at that, yeah. Out the back. Right, okay. Right, you need to look at the back window. 
and tell me where that the curve is coming into the back window. Well, I'll be honest, it's a white line there, it's not a curve because we've gone past the junction. Oh, of course, yeah, okay. But if yeah. we'd done it back there, it would have been. That's what I should have done. That's, that's what I should have done, shouldn't I? I'd missed that out, yeah, okay. Because it's just a good way yeah. lines going Of course across it the is, yeah, now. okay. Fair enough, okay. But if I use that, it is actually yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Okay, now, when what we'll do in a minute is you'll reverse back straight. Find the car behind. Yep. Sure. And once the kerb comes into this bottom corner of the mirror just here, uh -huh. I need you to stop. Okay. That is going to be the point of turn where you start to steer. Okay. As you steer around, the kerb will disappear, but then as the car becomes straight, it will line up again with this line here. So you can then steer back straight and keep the vehicle level with the kerb. Ah, okay. Okay. Are yeah. you are you happy to to have a go? What have I missed out? Let's give it a go. I'm not sure if I missed anything, but yeah. Okay. It's just the hard bit. Isn't it? It's just a hard bit in terms of if you're okay. So stop there. Oh. If you just go forward for me and straighten up the car, you're turning too early. So oh. Just go forward and. Just straighten up the wheels for me. I just so I go a little bit past it because I think that car's a bit oh yeah, just well spotted. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now it's important that you do not start to turn. You keep the car straight. You don't start. In fact, when the curb does come into this bottom corner here, I want you to stop the car. So okay. steer back until the curb. Steer back. Sorry, mean, um, beg your pardon. Reverse the vehicle steering straight, okay. keeping the yeah. wheel straight okay. until the kerb appears in this bottom corner of the mirror oh, here. Yeah. And stop there because your steering isn't straight. How? So just go forward and straighten up the car a second. Let's put that right first of all. Okay. Make sure your wheels are straight. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. No, <laughs> it can go on forever, can not it? Both right. hands on the steering wheel, keep the steering wheel. I'm out of roll. Yeah, okay. All right. Now, Russell, you know, you know when we drove over here, you said you identified, having been out with learners, some of your couple of your concerns. Yes. Wheels okay. over instruction, yeah. and what was the other one? Because I wrote them down, didn't I? I said, oh, I'll do some of that today, didn't I? I said, oh, I'll do that some of that today. And what was the other one? So over instruction and what was it? <laughs> what was it? I know I forget. And watching the people. Watching, right. the, watching people. the people. Thank you. Right. So watching the people. Okay. So when we start moving off, where are you looking? Behind. <laughs> yeah. And what am I doing? Everywhere. Everything wrong. Yeah. Okay. You no. don't know what I'm doing. No. No, you're right. You're not watching okay. me. Okay. Sure. So what I'm doing? And when. You're, yeah, when you watch yeah. this back, okay. when when you said look back at the white lines, yeah, I went. Oh yeah, right. and then I come back like that. Then and the I, steering wheel's on the wrong place. Yeah, did it again. <laughs> yeah. okay, did you? In plain sight. Yeah, okay. So I'm right. getting that bit of dry steering. Yeah. Where well, use your car next time. <laughs> <laughs> so um. So that's in plain sight. Yes. I'm putting in the folds right under okay. your nose, and Good. then the other. Then when when we're doing it a second time, you're looking yes. out the back, right. and I'm. Yeah. I, I don't even know I'm doing it. Sure. Okay. Because I'm holding the steering wheel like normal, then okay. I twist to look out the back, and I put course, the input yeah. on, yeah. and I don't know. I'm thinking, no. well, what's what's going wrong? I no. don't know what's going wrong. What and I'm, you don't know what's going wrong because yeah. you're not seeing it. Course, yeah, and what I'm using uh, the way that I'm knowing it's going wrong is because the car's steering in towards the curb. But no, I completely take that on board. So that I did say I would yeah. get no, that's good. I would try and exploit <laughs> that today. No good, it works. I yeah. wouldn't have been able to exploit it if you're watching me. Yeah, no, thank you. So, and and the other one was the mirror, that's why I did it. Of course, so yeah. I, well, you well, you, you were watching me, so I'm like, well, it's just that. Yeah. okay, but then you didn't correct me. On no, that. right, no. and you got to think, hang on a minute. How are you looking out the back? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I am. 
from it. Like, yeah, look, I'm looking out the back. <laughs> yeah. Are you looking out the back window? Well, no, you're not really. And then I would have done that. You're right, yeah, of course, yeah. So, um, okay. So okay. let's say, right, see, so I'm, I'm going to go back into roll, and I'm going to still do that stuff unless you tell me not okay. to. Okay, right. And you'll now, only be able to do that if you're watching. Okay, me. now when you reverse, yeah. we'll keep both hands on the steering wheel, keeping the steering wheel straight. Both hands? Both hands on the steering wheel, keeping the steering wheel straight. That'd be hard to talk, I won't be able to see. Fair enough, that's not going to work, is it? No, unless okay. I break my neck. <laughs> okay, fair enough, okay. What we need to do is to keep the steering wheel straight when you're reversing. It looks like he might be reversing out of his drive. So maybe. So uh, keep it straight. Am I allowed to steer with one hand on the top? Or one hand here? Can I do that? Uh, yes, definitely. Here? Can I do that? Definitely, because otherwise you couldn't twist easy enough, could you? To, yeah. To have a look where you're going. Really so, yeah, hard, it? it would, yeah, definitely. To, so I need to drop this shoulder sure, yeah. to, to look. Yeah to do what you're telling me. Yes. And that means crossing the steering yeah. wheel with one hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I take this off? You can when you reverse, yeah, you just okay. need to put it back on when you move forward, yeah. So if you had a a pupil with yeah. special needs, yeah. to be very careful how I say this, yeah. but think of a situation where yeah. the seatbelt might be awkward for the person. Yeah. That's digging in or awkward. Yeah, no, I understand, yeah. They, mm tactfully say would, would it be easy if you remove the seatbelt yeah, and if okay. they go actually yes yeah i've seen people do that before right okay do yeah that. and i i well that's okay yeah because mm -hmm. they as long as they do that Put when they're back driving on. yeah of course yeah, yeah. You, you know what i'm talking about yes no i do absolutely yeah i do yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> No worries. So yeah. why, why aren't we saying very, it? Are we not very, allowed? very diplomatically, yeah. yeah. So, um, okay. as long as you know what I'm allowed. I do, yeah. But that's, okay. that's a thing, isn't it? It's a thing. I don't know why we're not saying it. Because <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh my God, I've got to cut that out because I seem like an idiot. <laughs> right. Anyway, back, okay. back into Russ. Right, yes. This is serious, Russell. Yeah, serious absolutely. Serious role play. No absolutely. messing about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. So you're reversing, keeping mm -hmm. the steering wheel straight yeah. until the curb appears in this. Uh, okay. Starts to disappear in the bottom corner of this. So I can, I can. Yeah. So I've kept it straight. All right. Yeah. Good. Okay. Oh, there's a car. Someone, someone in the blue one. Yeah. Where's that curb? As soon as it starts to disappear in the bottom left of that mirror. There's a van coming. What should I do about the van behind? Just come to a stop for me and pop a left signal on. Perfect. Just so as he knows what our intentions are. Just let him know we've seen him. Yeah. Good, and then... Does that cancel that? Yeah, that'll be fine. No problem. She's getting the car, she? Yeah, there could be some cars oh, moving in Yeah, I'm okay. Keeping on where that curb's going. Yeah, I'm keeping it on my reference point. And as soon as the curb starts to disappear out of the window. Well, it's lit there. It's lit okay. as soon as you've drawn it. It's like Perfect. right on that corner. Excellent. Good stuff. Good. Okay, now. So now's the point of turn. Okay? Now, yeah. remember all round there's observations. Some, there's a car yes, here. I would do now. Yeah, we're going to be in their way potentially. Oh, right, so I'm going to come out yeah, of all got a bit messy, hasn't it? Yeah. Just. No worries. I'm out of roll just for a sec. Yeah, no worries. Just to come, I'm going to go past my point of turn, let her out. No worries, yeah. Don't upset them. Nope, definitely not. And then we're going to go forward, I'm going to put you back on the point of turn. Lovely. I'll find it. There it is, that's where Oops. we were. Okay, brilliant. Alright. So, back into reverse. Okay. Problem removed. And that's what you'd have in real life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that happen, wouldn't it? Definitely. And yeah. you'd be like, oh, you, you've yeah. got to like just say, look, I'm going to just take yeah. over here and tell you what sure. to do. And yeah. Just get out of people's Remove way. the risk, whatever, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okay, right, sure. so back in roll, we're at the point of turn. Okay, so now's the point of turn. Remember your observations, because the front of that vehicle is going to arc out into the oh, other. Oh, yeah, yeah, swing out there, 
So remember to be looking in centre so right. there, there and here? Yep, yeah, perfect, definitely. Will Just I look stuff. there where I'm going as well? Yes, definitely, definitely. It's important to look. Oh yeah, because there could have been a car there. Look into there? your target road, yeah, sure. So it's like opposite pole. Well, it's not, yeah. not opposite, it's like left. Yes, right. So yeah, I'm going to go yeah. all around the car. Steer. Good. Okay. And what am I doing with this car? What have I got to do? You need to line it up in this um, with that as soon as you get. A if I just stop there, I can yeah. see it in the corner. Good. Right okay. Corner, I can see it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Uh, oh, so I look at it. Watching you, shouldn't I? Yeah. yeah. Well, so, there. So yeah. the balance is. You'd yeah. watch me. Yeah. But then you'd have you. Have with your little look. Quick look around. Because sure. you still need to look. Yeah, of course. Because there yeah. could be a car okay. behind. You've got to know it's there. Yeah. Definitely. But before we get going, you want to make sure I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to stop there because it's you know that line in the middle. It's yeah. Back, it's back on that. Okay. Right. And it's reappeared in the back window. Okay. So this is the point where I start to straighten. Yes, right, of course. Because yeah. now I can use that bit, and yeah. straighten and put that back. When it yes. gets back to the middle, I can straighten. Yes, right, good. So if I, as I come around here, it's now coming back to the middle, so I'm going to start to straighten. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. Yeah. And it is, and I can follow it. I can see it in there. I can see it in there. Yeah. And I can go around that corner and judge it. Just like that. And remember, because they'll be fixated on that side. Yes. They forget about yeah. it, it's like yeah. pedestrian. That's why I stopped you in. Oi. Yeah. Sure. Have a look. Yeah. All round effective observations. Okay, good. So, yeah, so anyway, that's the same. Excellent. Let's get out of the way there. Good. Okay, very good. Yeah, definitely. There's lots to reflect on, and I'll make lots of notes on that one. So, as well as do it for real. It's really polished, yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, excellent. And you could wipe off the little black. Oh, of black. course. Yeah, too. Just vandalise your car. Well, it's, 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 it's good, isn't it? Well, you're not vandalised. No, it's that's, really that's, good, that's isn't good. it? No, it's something that I would have never have thought to do, but it's just really good, yeah. Yeah, exactly. well, that's why yeah. we do this, because yeah, you know, you'll see things and think, oh, that's yeah. a really good idea. That's an yeah. idea. Really good idea. Flying around there on his main machine, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm gonna head yeah, back. No worries. And you Very can good, you can press the little on the top.